Howdy everyone, Mr. Kazi here with another chemistry lesson and today we're going to do the mole ratio. And this is a very important concept, especially if you're going to be any good at stoichiometry. So pay attention and take some notes. Some assumptions I'm going to make, first of all, that you know the periodic table. Second, that you know molar mass. And if you don't, let's go back to some of the other videos I have and uh, watch them. And I'm going to believe that you understand how to use your calculator. And remember, there are lessons on YouTube about each of these subjects. All right, in this lesson, the mole ratio, moles to moles, moles to grams, and particles to moles, and much, much more. You'll need a periodic table. You will need polyatomic ions. You'll need a TI-84 calculator. Now, you must know how to write a chemical equation, how to balance a chemical equation, and you must know Avogadro's number and the mole. And of course, as always, there are videos on these. So are you ready? Let's get started. Mole to mole ratio. A ratio of the amounts of reactants and products using the coefficients of a chemical reaction. And there's our coefficients. In this example right here, we have copper and silver nitrate. And there's the mole to mole ratio. One mole of copper for two moles of silver nitrate. Let's look at another one. One mole of copper to two moles of silver. Now these are mole ratios that we can use to do magical things. And two moles of silver to two moles of silver nitrate, which reduces to a one-to-one -one relationship. Now, let's look here, a practice problem. What is the mole ratio for oxygen to water? I hope you said one mole of oxygen to two moles of water. Another practice problem. Same equation. Now, this equation is balanced, but don't always believe me. Check and make sure that I balanced them correctly. And if I didn't, send me an email, please. What is the mole ratio for hydrogen to water? 2 to 2. And of course, that reduces to 1. All right. Let's use the mole ratio for changing moles of A to moles of B. The mole ratios are used as a conversion factor to change between substances. That means we can take moles of A and change it into moles of B. And that's like magic. So here's an example, our equation again with copper and silver nitrate. How many moles of copper are needed to react with 3.5 moles of silver nitrate? Look at our situation here. How many moles? I always like to write what I'm looking for on my chemical equation. So you look up there, I've written it in. And now let's go get the mole ratio. And the mole ratio is one mole of copper for every two moles of silver nitrate. Go to our magic board and use the mole ratio. Cross out the units there. Plug and chug, get that calculator, calculator out. And boom, using three sig figs. And if you're not sure about sig figs, there's a video on that. Go back and find it. All right, moles to grams and vice versa. So now we can use this to change moles to grams or grams to moles. Let's check it out. Moles to grams, using the molar mass. Now, if you're not sure about molar mass, go back a few lessons, find the video, and you'll see about molar mass. But we can change moles of A to grams of A. This is downright magical. Here's an example. How many grams in 3.50 moles of water? Use molar mass. And so the molar mass of water is 18.02 grams. And we did that by adding up all the individual molar masses of the elements involved. Let's go to the board. We we'll take the 3.5 moles and multiply it by the conversion, which is 18.02 grams of water per one mole of gram of water. 
Cross out the units, do the math, plug and chug, and voila. We've got three uh, sig figs at 63.1 grams H2O. Now, let's go to the vice versa, the grams to moles. How many moles in 153 grams of sodium chloride or table salt? Again, use molar mass. And so the molar mass of salt is 58.44 grams. Going to the magic board. Okay, using our molar mass. Notice that you can always get it in the right order if you check your units, unit analysis. And of course, there's a video on that. Go back, find it. Go through that video if you're not sure about how to do unit analysis or dimensional analysis, however your teacher might call it. It's one of the best ways to make sure you have everything together. Plug and chug. And there we go. This time, four sig figs. 153.0 is four sig figs. Moles to particles and vice versa. All right. Remember what our representative particles are. You're going to have atoms, ions, formula units, and molecules. Also remember one mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23 of anything. Moles to particles. Use Avogadro's number to change moles to particles. Moles of A to particles of A. This is so cool. Example, how many molecules? in 3.50 moles of water. Molecules are our particle. And use this to convert 6.022 times 10 to 23 molecules per one mole. Because a mole is a number. Just like a dozen is 12, a mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23. To the board. 3.50 moles H2O times our conversion. Cross our units out. Guess what? Plug and chug. And we have 2.11 or 2.11 times 10 to the 24 molecules of water. And of course, three sig figs. Let's do particles to moles. Use Avogadro's number to change particles to moles. Particles of A to moles A. How many moles in 3.61 times 10 to the 24 molecules of CH4, which is methane? Again, our particle is molecules, and so we're going to use this to convert, but this time it's flipped over because we want molecules to cancel out. To the board. 3.61 times 10 to the 24 molecules of methane, and one mole of methane over 6.022 times 10 to 23 molecules. Guess what? Let's cross out our units. You know it. Plug and chug. And 5.99 moles of methane with three sig figs. Questions? Be sure to send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. And don't forget, if you have a problem that you could um, send me that you want worked out for problem of the week, uh, go ahead and do that. Just shoot off an email to me with your problem and I'll feature it on one of my problems of the week. Don't forget to check out mrkazi.com for PowerPoints, videos, and much, much more. And also subscribe. Studies have shown that it increases your IQ. All right, everyone. Have a great day and happy ion.